looks so beautiful. I really need to get me one of these. Hey guys, uh, Brian from Benham Brewing here. I uh, have an exciting actually day for you today. Uh, we're doing an unboxing of a conical fermenter, uh, which is courtesy of Adam and Ali at What Ails Ya. Um, we're so excited for the partnership and the fact that they let us borrow one so we can do a review on it. Uh, for me, um, I've been brewing for a number of years, always use the glass carboys or the, the plastic fermenters. I've never been able to get my hands on a conical fermenter. It's an investment, but they are just absolutely beautiful. So I'm excited to be able to share this with you today. Uh, and I hope I don't geek out too much. It's just very, very exciting. So I'm gonna go get it. So let's see what we've got in here. We've got our lid for the fermenter. Wow. Very, very solid. This does not feel uh, like a cheap piece of stainless. This is solid. Has a silicone gasket on the inside. Pressure relief here, keep it from blowing the thing up. And of course, where the airlock goes. That is very cool. Wow. All right, let's set this over here for now. See what else. Instructions, which of course, we don't need instructions, that's fine. Wow, holy cow. <laughs> oh, look at that. Let me turn it around here a little bit so you guys can see. Oh my goodness. Boy, that is beautiful. Wow. So a couple things I'm seeing already on this thing. Uh, obviously it comes with the four legs. You've got all your, your kind of outputs at the bottom. Um, the welds on here look really, really nice. It's brushed stainless, has their logo on it. You got all these clamps at the top for the lid. And the interior, um, it's sanitary wells. Like I don't see a single thing in there that could harbor an infection or anything like that. All right, so I'm gonna take it off of the, the foam base here just to kind of see what we've got here. Oh yeah, and it's really nicely packaged to keep it safe in, uh, in transit. There we go. Now, before I discard that, or at least push it to the side, Oh, that's nice too. So in addition to the legs, they have leveling feet that come with it with the long screws on it so you can level it on any surface. And those are heavy duty, those are fantastic. Let's look at the bottom of this thing here. All right, so we've got two tri-clamp fittings on here, which I've always liked. I've never actually had them, but they are very easy to use. The other thing that I like about the uh, conical fermenters is the there's, there's two ports on it basically. This bottom one is used to dump the yeast. So after you're finished with fermentation, you have this nice cone shape uh, where the yeast just kind of slide down and they gather in the bottom of the cone. Um, if you're doing like a lager or something that requires like a secondary fermentation, instead of transferring it off into another vessel to get it off of the yeast cake, you just open this up and it whoo, dumps all the yeast right out and then you close it off and now you're off the yeast you're now in a secondary fermentation you can also take that yeast that you've gathered and you can repitch that into another batch it makes it so simple and so easy all right so in addition to the leg stabilizers the little feet that are on there it looks like this is the rotating racking arm which i really want to see how that works has a little gasket in there. There it is. Aha. Okay, so we got our thermal well. Oh, that's cool. So there's a hole kind of in the top here where this is uh, threaded, has a little gasket on it. So this goes inside. Uh, and obviously the screw on the back side of it. And you can put a uh, temperature probe in here to monitor your fermentation temperatures. Uh, if you have this hooked up to um, like a chiller of some kind, a glycol chiller, you could put the temperature probe in there and regulate the temperature of this uh, through that. And that's leak proof, that's fantastic. Let's see if we can get the racking arm to work now. So 
So this, oh yeah, this is our rotating racking arm. So this enables you to take samples of the beer or to drain it off without uh, any of the yeast pickup. So that all stays in the bottom of the cone. Let's see if we can get this thing assembled. Cool. Oh, I love those tri-clamp fittings. Those are heavy duty. Look at that. Stainless with the gasket here. I mean, these are solid. <laughs> these things will last forever. Tighten that up. All right. Oh, that's neat. So what's nice about this is you can loosen this tri-clamp fitting and then rotate your valve uh, to change the angle of your pickup tube that's inside of the conical fermenter. Now, what I've seen a lot of people do, because you can't necessarily tell where the angle is, a mark on here what the angle is, so you know about where you're at as you're maneuvering it. All right, so here inside the fermenter, I'm gonna rotate this for you here, so you can see you can rotate it down as it's draining until it's just above the yeast line. Um, if you go too low and you start to pick up yeast in your line, then you just kind of pick it right back up again a little bit. And that makes sure you're transferring clear beer and leaving the wort, the, excuse me, the yeast behind. Last thing I want to look at with this, um, although frankly I can't stop looking because it's absolutely gorgeous. God, I love stainless. Uh, is the lid. So the lid that it comes with, as I kind of mentioned before, it's nice and thick, um, really well made, has that nice silicone gasket around it, and the pressure relief valve here, so if you get something that's clogged, um, this will keep you from basically blowing it up. Um, these are designed um, to hold a somewhat tight seal, and I'm not going to put all these clamps down, um, because it's not necessary, we're not fermenting anything right now, but with this dome lid and that nice silicone gasket and all of these clamps on here, this enables you to do a pressurized transfer of your beer. So your beer is finished, uh, you've got it off the yeast, it's been, it's been aging nicely and you're ready to keg it or bottle it. Um, you can hook up a CO2 pressure to this and actually push the beer out. So even if this is lower uh, than your kegs, obviously, because you got the, the output here and you've got your keg here, you can use CO2 to push that gently out and into your kegs or your bottling bucket or whatever it is that you're using um, to finish off your beer and to get it carbonated. Um, these are designed for about, I think it's 2 PSI only. So if you are going to do a transfer uh, using CO2 pressure, you want to get a very, very accurate gauge. Don't do the one that's like 0 to 60. You want one that goes like 0 to 5 uh, because you really want very low pressure to push that out. The nice thing about these is if you accidentally forget to, say, turn down your regulator and you pop it with like 10 or 30 pounds of pressure, um, you know, this little relief valve may not be able to keep up. But these clamps are designed to release. Um, and not all at once, but a couple of them will pop off. It'll vent the gas and keep the lid from popping off. So these are very, very well designed uh, from a safety standpoint. So overall, uh, unboxing this beautiful fermenter from uh, Stainless Steel Brewtech, very, very impressed with the construction quality, the sanitary fittings, um, all of the silicone gaskets. I mean, it is a solid, well-manufactured fermenter, um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I want to thank Adam and Allie from What Ails You for allowing us to unbox and play around with this a little bit. We had a great time doing it. Um, if you do happen to own a, a, a conical fermenter from Stainless Steel Brew Tech, drop us a line, chat us up, let us know what you think about it, uh, what you brewed on it, how long you've had it for. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And as always, you know, if you like what you see here, definitely like and subscribe so we can continue to bring you more of this great content. Uh, and we look forward to hearing from you.